sophomore pitcher at D.C. Andrea Kenny, head softball coach, ninth season. Nicole Pierce, junior catcher. Yeah, it, it felt like we came out in the first inning and we were seeing the ball really big and I, you, could, you could feel it. Um, the girls have been working really hard on their offense and, and we're a great offensive team. We've just seen some really good pitching lately. And um, the ball sat a little bit and they took advantage of every pitch it looked like that, that sat on the plate. It was, it was tremendous. Yeah. Can both of you tell me about your homework? Um, mine was with two strikes. I, I make my two strike adjustment and I think that helps me see the ball. A little, bit, a little bit better. She was, I was, I think she was trying not to walk me, and it kind of was there, and I saw it, and I kept it simple, and some good happened. So, yeah. Um, mine, I think, was with three and two count. Um, I don't think she wanted to walk me either, but I mean, we've been working hard all weekend, our week, all throughout the year. We read the scouting reports that coach made for us, and we studied these pitches really well. So it worked out for us on offense today. <laughs> was it bubbles home run over the over the scoreboard well i i kind of love bubbles <laughs> she's been with me for three years and i know how hard she works at her offense and it's just so exciting for me to see her succeed as well as everybody but this one gets so excited so you see her get that excited you get that excited kind of thing she like i said you know she bleeds enthusiasm and it it must have rubbed off on me. So, <laughs> what was your mindset when you subbed in Janae to pitch it and lo and behold, another uh, home run? Janae um, has been a great pinch hitter all year for us. She's amazing. She's patient. She waits for the right pitch to swing out, and if she doesn't get it, she walks. Um, we had a slapper up and two outs, so it was pretty no, pretty much a no brainer for me to to put a little bit of power in in that situation. And Janae was seeing the ball really well in warm ups today. She's getting some really good swings. So it was, it was another thing that was super exciting to see her succeed like that. Let's talk about the defense came through as always, a lot of uh, work in the infield. Talk about uh, how you handled uh, the batters and how happened. Well, you know, there's the decision of which pitcher to throw in what game. Um, you know, both of them are so good. We saw Cal Baptist play yesterday, lots of balls in the air that were blowing over the fence, we felt. So we needed a low ball pitcher that was going to keep the ball on the ground. And Corey came in and just did an amazing job. She kept them guessing and a lot of ground balls to the infield. And our infield's been so good all year. So it's exactly what we had hoped for. Oh, shame on you. <laughs> you, want, you want me to tell the opponents? Huh? No, we honestly do not know. And we spent hours last night thinking about it. We called Bubbles in for a little while, talking about it. And um, it all worked out for us. It all worked out. Yeah, we look for matchups. We look for matchups. And, and um, we'll see who we get tomorrow. But I think either of them, if their defense plays well, is going to be successful. I don't think that we can lose with either of them on the rubber. They're amazing. So what are you going to be telling the team, you know, this afternoon, this evening, as you guys get ready for tomorrow? We're going to just keep doing what we've been doing. It's just another game that we have to win. I said it yesterday. You know, we, like I said, we're end of season and we wanted to win the championship and we had to keep winning to win the championship and we had to win those games just like we have to win these games and they've been stepping up this game this team needs to have a good time to play well it's pretty apparent when we get a little bit stressed it doesn't go well so we've been keeping it loose enjoying each other we've been spending a lot of time together at this tournament so um yeah just another game that we have to win Yeah, it's must win. Yeah, we haven't lost many this year. Yeah. We're, you know, we're in we our. We do good losing. Yeah, we're losers. <laughs> yeah, I, I here you can talk. Go ahead. I'm about and losing this team. Yeah, um, losing's tough, and we're sore losers. We 
really like to win. And these are the games that you have to win. So that's what yeah. it comes down to. Tell me about that. I mean, yeah, there's a, a tough way to end the conference tournament, and it seems like you guys really lit it up afterwards. Yeah, I mean, a lot of factors went into that tournament. I think it was a lot of postseason play for a lot of people, their first time. And, I mean, I – was here my freshman year, and I felt that pressure, and I think having that experience helped me personally a lot, and I think Corey the same way. Under that pressure, it's, it's everything's different. You know, you have the tent, you have the, the time limit, so um, the experience helped me, but we came out and we played our game this weekend, as you can tell, compared to last weekend, so. But so even yesterday, we were talking about a little bit of jitters. Do you think you guys are all comfortable now? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think we all have nerves right before a game, but it's we turn it into good nerves to help us not hinder our play. So, <laughs> well, I mean, I bouncing we bounced back really well from last weekend. And um, coach says all the time, learn from your mistakes, learn from your mistakes. And I think we came to practice ready to move forward on Monday. We weren't happy with our performances. Everyone came ready to play. Everyone's attitudes are different, and we just learned from our mistakes and came out and showed it this weekend. Yeah, I think she's exactly right. I, I always tell them that they don't fail if they've learned from their mistakes. And we didn't fail last week. It's obvious now. There was no failure there. We learned. We came out here great this weekend. So, and they had phenomenal attitudes, like they said. At, at practice was so happy on Monday. It was such a happy day. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, they definitely have, have succeeded, in my opinion. So...